hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel this is one of those videos honestly i wasn't planning on making them but i thought you know maybe i should just do it anyway so today we'll be making this beef stew in a clay pot so this is one of those cookwares i cannot insist enough you literally need to own this one these clay pots are so easy to use at the same time they retain you know the, the taste of food and this particular one i enjoy you know using it when i want to make uh, you know those those you know those dishes that take a very long time to kind of you know bring together so it can be a slow cooker ah, my friend this thing can slow cook so well and if you want that soft meat mm -hmm, that one atutaki nyamangumu hapa this is the pot to use a few tips though when you're using these pots is that when you're cleaning your pot don't use soap guys just use sodium bicarbonate or another alternative you can use ash yes that's the kawaida ash you get after you've used your charcoal jiko yes that one only use the ash or the sodium bicarbonate so let's get into now the recipe so into the clay pot i'm just going to add beef and this particular recipe i used half a kilo of beef and then i'm just going to add two tablespoons of butter or you can also use margarine and i've just added one onion that i chopped the next ingredient is uh, crushed ginger and then crushed garlic so you can either use um you know the canned one that will work too and then i've just added two red chilies and then uh, finally i'm going to add my tomatoes so i used two large tomatoes just sprinkle a little bit of salt to your liking add water to cover the contents so using my wooden stick i'm just going to mix everything again and we're going to cover this and just let it cook for, okay usually i cook it for 30 minutes but because of this particular video i'm just going to give you a sneak peek on how it looks like after around three minutes so as you can see the butter is already melting and this is exactly what we want so uh, and you can see the bubbles are already starting to form and the aroma in this kitchen is beautiful you know just despite the fact that this is such a simple recipe so we're going to cover this up and we're going to leave it for 15 minutes so after 15 minutes it is piping hot guys piping hot but uh, i'm just going to turn it once more and we get then again i'm going to cover this and just let it cook again for another 10 minutes so after around 10 minutes uh, i checked on it again not bad at all but i'm not yet you know where i want it to be because the you know the soup is still a little bit watery i want it to be a little bit thick so i'm going to cover this again just give it an extra 10 minutes and then i'll be right back so um after 10 minutes as you can see here now my soup is thick now this is exactly what i wanted and i don't want it to stick so i'm going to remove it from the fire you know pots tend to preserve a lot of heat so as you once everything had cooled down as you can see here it's beautiful beautiful steel so i'm just going to serve this with rice or you can always serve it with anything you like if you enjoyed this video please share this video with your family and friends subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell down below until next time guys let's cook eat and enjoy.